We had this bread box in family for over 30 years. It was made by my father and it did a great service. Like most of the things back then, it was made with very basic tools like circular saw and rasps. Since I got some more tools, I decided to overcomplicate the thing and used as many tools as I could. The wood I used is 15 year old cherry that was locally harvested and it was the first time I used this species. It was a bit twisted and cupped, but I needed quite thin material, so that was no problem. The whole box was made from this table and uh, still a little piece remained and that would be used to make a small box. I really like that third image in wood, uh, that's some sort of compression left in the growing of the tree. After some milling I started to make the joinery and I used dovetail joint for the bottom stretcher and the top stretcher was joined with dowels.
I made some grooves for the bottom to fit the 4mm plywood. After some sanding and before applying a first coat of finish, I spotted some minor tear out that was easily fixed with a small box cutter blade by scraping the wood. Much faster than sanding. The little handle knob was made from small piece and I shaped it with fantastic Leo gear wraps and they are really a joy to use. I love those hand stitch rasps. They really make a difference and make you work faster. They are costly though. The thin slice of cut I cut here was used for the backing and the piece of plywood I had was quite bold so I glued up a strip of wood to stiffen it and I attached the solid wood backing to that strip. That solved the wood movement and the plywood is straight. I really liked working with Cherry and I'm very pleased with the finished bread box. There, now give it a thumbs up. Down there below. I'll wait for you. Yeah. Please subscribe and if you can support me on Patreon. Thank you very much. See you next time.